We begin with a Team 10 exclusive at the San Diego airport. Thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of ABC 10 News. I am Wale Aliou. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. Earlier this year, luggage started disappearing from the arrivals area. Team 10 investigator Austin Grabish spent months digging into it. And tonight, he shows how one man stole multiple pieces of luggage. eyes on this man. At first, it seems he's a helping hand. But wait, here he is again and again, taking suitcases that aren't his. Watch as he leaves the airport unstopped. These travelers staring, almost thinking something isn't right. I think disbelief is probably the biggest thing for me because I'm going, uh, 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 my thought w was, that's so risky for somebody to walk over and just pick up a suitcase because look at all the people standing around there waiting on their suitcases. Carl Jalsovsky is one of the victims who had his bag stolen from San Diego's airport earlier this year. And you were left with nothing but the clothes on your back. Just the clothes on my back is all I had, that's right. The shirt he wore for our interview, a replacement for one that was in his bag. His wife Cody says she thought the suitcase was lost, not stolen until a police officer called. He said that he was investigating our, our lost luggage, that it had not turned up in the airport anywhere. His first question was, can you identify it? You know, it's, it's a darker blue, uh, it's a hard side roller case, uh, carry-on size. And, and almost immediately he said, yep, I'm watching the guy walk out with it right now. Inside the bag was Carl's favorite Padres tie. He wore it to church on Sundays. We're big San Diego Padre fans. The tie I miss. Now, more than eight months later, Team 10 is finally learning how this stolen luggage ring operated. Internal police documents I obtained through a public records request show a man named Alberto Estrada was arrested for stealing bags back in February. Detectives used this surveillance video to crack the case, but weren't sure who the thief was until an airport traffic officer recognized him two days later. I got the video they used after filing a public record records request with the airport authority. Harbor police arrested the baggage thief not far from here at the airport and found 14 stolen bags taken from here in the back of his pickup truck. But that's not all police found. According to this affidavit for a search warrant, when officers arrested the thief, they found two hotel key cards on him, which led them here to the Motel 6 in Escondido, where they found even more stolen bags and other items from the airport. It was the same time frame, same baggage carousel for all these stuff, so that was kind of the clue. Hey, there's somebody's getting a little more aggressive and taking a lot of bags at once. Detective Sergeant Daniel Moan says no accomplice was ever caught. But Estrada was seen on camera with another man loading a vehicle with stolen property. Moan says there's been 54 reports of stolen bags this year at the airport, but the number could be higher because it doesn't include reports made to airlines. Last year, there were 96 stolen bags. The thieves are out there and it does seem to be an increasing crime that we hear about. This travel expert recommends avoiding checking bags and suggests using a credit card to pay for flights. Some airline credit cards, some travel credit cards will reimburse you for lost or stolen luggage uh, up to as much as $3,000. In the end, Estrada was linked to several other stolen bag investigations. Court records show he pleaded guilty to 22 counts of burglary and was sentenced to 180 days in jail. He is now out on probation and must stay away from the airport unless he's flying. Jelsovsky still wonders what happened to his suitcase. Moan says detectives found several bags without tags and tried hard to get the stolen property reunited with victims. But Jelsovsky's bag never surfaced and Moan says the clothes are likely long gone. We suspect he was selling them at swap meets, flea markets, or offer up Facebook Marketplace, that type of thing, so. And remember that beloved Padres tie? And a friend of mine at our church in Idaho uh, about the third Sunday after it came up, and he says, hey, I have something for you. Jelsovsky got a surprise replica. What did you learn from this? <laughs> Don't stop at the restroom before you go get your luggage.
go straight to the luggage counter and grab your luggage when it when it pops over that rail. <laughs> Some sound advice from someone who's learned the lesson the hard way. Austin Grabish, ABC 10 News. And that is a great lesson. I will take that to heart. Austin started investigating after receiving a tip from a viewer. If you have a story you would like us to look into, just email team10 at 10news.com.